The company at this site had their Net2 access control system installed two years ago. More than happy with the level of security Net2 has offered, the security manager wants to extend the Net2 system to an external gate. Unfortunately, because the gate is sited some distance from the company's main building, there is no easy way to hardwire between the two. The security manager is concerned that he may not be able to use his existing Net2 system to control security on the gate. The security manager calls their installer Nick Page to talk over the dilemma. Nick suggests installing a Net2 Nano which can extend Net2 wirelessly, making it a perfect solution. Nick arrives with the Net2 Air Site Surveyor Kit to test the site suitability for Net2 Nano installation on the gate. The two-part Net2 Air Site Surveyor Kit from Paxton Access includes a base station and a tester card. Nick plugs in the Net2 Site Surveyor Base Unit, where the Net2 Air USB or Ethernet bridge will be located. This checks the signal strength between a Net2 Nano and a Net2 Air bridge. But first Nick must make sure that this is an appropriate place to fit a Net2 Nano. With the site surveyor card in his hand, Nick measures the signal strength from the base unit to the spot where the Net2 Nano will be installed. He needs at least one green LED illuminated to indicate a suitably strong signal. Perfect. The green LED on the Net2 Air site surveyor card tells Nick that this is a suitable site to fit a Net2 Nano access control unit. With confirmation that the gates can be fitted with a Net2 Nano, Nick begins planning the installation for the site. Now for the installation. Plug in your Net2 Air bridge. The reader is fitted and wired to the Net2 Nano as normal. The relay output from Net2 Nano is used to control the gate. The Net2 Nano can now communicate with the server PC. Access permissions can be controlled via the Net2 system and reported on the Net2 software. Every time the gate is accessed using a valid token, an event pops up on the server PC notifying the Net2 administrator. As well as confirming signal strength, the Net2 Air Site Surveyor Kit highlights unsuitable areas for the Net2 Nano. In this scenario, the tester card shows no green LEDs because the barrier is too far out of range from the spot where the Net2 Nano will be suited. Metal can particularly interfere with the signal between a Net2 Nano and an access point. This makes this metal warehouse an inappropriate site where the Net2 Air Site Surveyor card shows no signal strength. In a situation where the Net2 Air USB bridge is out of range, it is possible to plug a Net2 Air Ethernet bridge directly into the Ethernet connection and enjoy an extended read range. The Net2 Air Site Surveyor Kit is essential when checking a site suitability for Net2 Nano. Make sure you buy one for your toolkit.